Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover a simple way to create invisibility through power ups. We're going to do this by adjusting the alpha channel on our sprite whenever we come into contact with the specified object that we consider the invisibility power up. If you find this video helpful, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. So, to go ahead and start, we'll create our script and we'll simply name it power up. And we'll go ahead and open it. So as you can see, I went ahead and set up the scene of this, and I went ahead and created the character and the movement script for that. If you need help creating horizontal movement, we have a 2D tutorial from a few weeks ago that covers that. But this video is solely focusing on creating the invisibility power-up. Now that our script's open, we'll go ahead and create our variables. We're going to have four. Our first one is going to be a sprite renderer that we'll call character. Our second one will be a color. Our third one is going to be a float called activation time that we'll use as a counter for when we want to turn off our invisibility effect. And finally, our last one will be a bool that will say whether we're currently invisible or not. Now we'll go ahead and go to our start function to initialize all of these. We'll begin with our character by getting our sprite render component. And then we'll go to our activation time, which we'll simply set as zero. And then we're going to set our invisible to false. And finally, we want to set our color variable to our character's color. And this is simply so that when we adjust the alpha channel of our color, it doesn't default the RGB to zero and keeps the RGB that we have on our sprite. Now we can go down to our update. We're only going to really be doing two things inside update. We're simply going to be adding to our counter of activation time, and then we're going to be checking if we need to switch off our invisibility. So to begin, we'll have our activation time. And we're going to take that and plus equals time dot delta time to it. And this is just making sure that each update we add the time it took to load the frame so that way we can set a specific time to no longer be invisible. So next we're going to just say if we're invisible. If we're invisible then we also want to check if our activation time is greater than or equal to 3. And this number can be any number that you want. This solely just means how many seconds you want your character to be invisible. And then inside this function, we'll go ahead and set our invisibility back to false. And then we're going to take our color's alpha channel and set it to 1, which will make the alpha channel be completely solid. And then we're going to assign this color to our character color. Now we can go ahead and create an onTrigger inner function. And inside here, we're just going to check if we've interacted with our invisible object. And if we have, we'll set our character to be invisible. So we'll go ahead and say if other tag equals invisible. Then we want to set our invisibility to true. We want to set our activation time to zero because we want that timer to restart. We want to adjust our alpha channel to however transparent we want it. I'm going to do 0.2. And then we'll take the color that we just changed the alpha channel of and assign it to our character color. This is the entirety of our power up scripts. So we'll go ahead and go back to our scene. And inside our scene, we want to make sure to attach this power up script to our character. 
And then we want to put in the art that we're going to have represent our power up. I'm going to change its size to 0.2 in both directions. And then I'll just move it in front of the character. You need to make sure to add a collider to it. And you want it to be a trigger. And I'm going to adjust its radius to 0.24. Now we'll create a tag for it, and we'll call it invisible. You want to make sure that this tag name is identical to the tag name that you put inside your code. And then we'll go back to the orb and add this as its tag. And also, since you didn't see me create the character, I just want to point out that if you have your character, you need to make sure that it has a rigid body in order for it to detect collisions. But now that we have all of those things, we can go ahead and test and play. And then as you can see, when I touch the invisibility orb, it changes my transparency on my player. And then after about three seconds, it changes back. For this code, my orb just stays there. But if you want the orb to disappear after it's used, you can do one simple line of code. You'll simply just add inside your onTrigger inner to d function other dot game object dot set active to false. So now if I go back to the scene and click play, you can see that the invisibility now only has one use. So that's all for this tutorial. To sum it up, we adjusted the alpha channel of our sprite through interaction with a specified power up object, which was the orb. And we did this through colliders and tags. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.